What's held things up for the last while is the Tea Party faction in the House, which blocked basically everything. We will not bow to Tea Party anarchists who refuse to accept the Supreme Court ruled Obamacare to be constitutional. I don't know what party they've been to. There must have been some bitter tea. Because they came with a mean spirit. So the Tea Party was fine, and now it's starting to, you know, throw little girls into the lake. Good old John Boehner showing some spine against the wild ones out there on the right. The Tea Party is from the clown car. Let's let's go to the Tea Party uh, influence on Congress on this thing. I think they have. There's a mental health problem in Congress. The snakehead fish is this sharp. It has a sharp, shark-like teeth. Yeah, 75,000 eggs it lays a year. It eats virtually everything. It drinks blood. It destroys everything within its reach. The problem is that is what the Tea Party has become. Politics is changing for me at, at this late age. It's, they have to deal with a cult type of group of people. You know, this is past civics 101. This is illness. The tea baggers in his tea party were going to watch. They plan to hold tea parties to proverbially tea bag the White House. And they don't want to tea bag alone, if that's even possible. They want you to start tea bagging too. And you see folks waving tea bags around. There is a clear racial tinge to a lot of the, the, the rhetoric from the Tea Party. At this point, the Tea Party is no more popular than the Klan. They all run around as if we got all these white people out here, this little minority of the country, but are, they're better Americans than the rest, and we represent them. Some of this Tea Party anger is racist. I think it's entirely legitimate to look at the Tea Party. I mean, here are a group of people who are admittedly racist. You know, they are the Taliban wing of American politics, and we all ought to be a little worried about them. Really, you've got to think, we take an oath to support the country against all well, enemies, see, foreign and domestic, and these are the domestic enemies. Why aren't the moderate Republicans, you know, fighting back? We're always saying, why don't the, you know, the, the, the moderate Muslims fight jihad, but, you know, this is jihad. I think that the era of the far right and the era of the Tea Party is over. I think the Tea Party, frankly, Joe, I think the Tea Party and Ted Cruz have peaked. I believe the Tea Party is short-lived. I think you will find even the people that claim they're Tea Party folks will will either be gone as a result of their extreme positions. I can't wait to see in Iowa, New Hampshire, some Tea Party type calling him a liberal. Oh and my the, God. And, 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 and Christy well. reaching down yeah. the guy's throat and pulling his lungs out. <laughs> These teabag bastards who, by the way, I just wish they would all go away. Or, like in Passover, I, I just wish there was an angel of the Lord that would pass over instead of killing the firstborn in all the households of Egypt, just wipe out all the teabaggers. Just, you know, the terrible swift sword, just shoom, shoom, shoom. Lop their heads off.